Good morning guys, welcome to the video. I have not vlogged in at least over a week. We had company over the weekend, so I didn't vlog at all then. It's now Wednesday, um, so I definitely have not vlogged in a very long time, but I'm back. And yeah, this is gonna be a normal video, full day of eating, workout. I might have a little rant later. Um, but yeah, basically that's kind of just it for the day. I do have my final week of check-ins with my challenge girls, so I will be doing that today. And I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast now. I think I'm gonna do a nostalgic breakfast and do my oatmeal. So if you don't know what my oatmeal breakfast is, I'm a little offended, but I understand because I haven't done it in a very long time. But we have our better oats oatmeal. I add half a cup of egg whites, nut butter on the side. So that's gonna be my breakfast. Honestly, I'm gonna make turkey bacon too. So that's gonna be my breakfast for today. I have not had oats in a very long time, um, but I'm gonna bring it back because I'm just feeling it today. So that is the plan. I'm gonna make this up now and show you guys the final product. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. I decided I'm going to go grocery shopping because we have not a lot of food in the house so I'm gonna head to the grocery store now I think I'm probably just going to vlog when I get back the haul of everything um, it's probably going to be very typical still gonna vlog it anyways and yeah that's kind of it I wasn't really planning on doing this today but heading there now I'll show you guys everything I get once I get back and I also curled my hair so Bye. Pretty typical food shop. I didn't get too much. Um, just the basics. Turkey bacon, of course. I really like the Butterball Thin and Crispy brand. There's regular Butterball. It's not as good as the Thin and Crispy. You have to get Thin and Crispy. Um, and then I got 93% lean beef. 93% lean ground turkey. Egg whites. Oat milk for Anthony. I have whole eggs. They're over there. I don't want to get them. Uh, bagels, rolls, tortillas. I've never had these and I really wanted to try them. They look really good. They still do kind of have a lot of fat though. It's nine fat, 16 carb, and two protein, but 32 pieces? That seems like a lot. I just want to try them. Um, and then I got raspberries, mashed cauliflower, three of the bird's eye pastas. I got two of the penne cheddar cheese and one of the mac and cheese. And then I also just got stir fry veggies. I'm really one to have frozen veggies. I just feel like we would waste a lot of food if we didn't get it frozen and bought it fresh. I know it's obviously not as good, but we would waste so much more if we had fresh veggies and all of that. So I get frozen. And yeah, that's all I got, actually. Some diet soda as well, because I love diet soda. That is it for now. I'm gonna have to figure out what to make for lunch, and then I will show you guys that, and we'll see what else this video has. I do kind of have a rant that I want to talk about, so we'll see if that comes. So I just opened the bag to try these, and these are really good. They don't taste any different than the regular ones, but they're called Simply, so I'm assuming they're like low calorie or less fat or something. But they taste exactly the same and they are really tricky good. So I recommend. I had to go to the post office and so I got Starbucks. I got a matcha green tea latte. I really, really like matcha and I never get matcha. So I decided to grab it for a nice little afternoon treat. I didn't end up making lunch yet. I'm gonna do that when I get home. But I wanted to come on here and talk about something because I put it on my Instagram story and people, like a lot of DMs, I'm still trying to answer them all, came in about how they could relate and all of that. So I wanted to kind of just talk about it a little bit on here because here is where it originated. So I ended up getting a comment, a really, the way she worded it was really nasty, but honestly, I'm okay with the way that I am. I've accepted the fact that I'm a shyer, more introverted person, and not everyone's gonna understand that, so juice, baby. So when people don't understand it, I, I don't take offense to it because I don't 
personally look at it as a character flaw or something wrong with me but anyway so she commented on one of my videos essentially comparing my videos to the other balance leaders and just saying that they did a way better job than me which that part I thought was nasty because I don't compare myself to them I don't think we're in a competition um, we're all super different and that's okay um, a lot of them are outgoing and I simply am not um, and that's just the way it is so the way that she worded it was super rude and just what made me so upset about it is not that she was being rude to me I don't care it doesn't that didn't affect me really because like I said I feel fine with the person that I am and the way that I am so I'm cool with it but what made me upset is her putting that out into the public and basically saying that she can't watch me anymore because I'm so antisocial and all the other girls did better than me and their vlogs were better than mine and essentially just saying that I'm less than because I am not super outgoing or because my vlogs weren't up to the standard of this woman when all the other girls were and I just feel like having someone come across that comment or see that or be told that that's the reason why people are afraid to even start or make videos or be public and open about things because people like that are saying that just because I'm a quiet more reserved person that I am less than or not as good as these other people which is like it's not a character flaw it's not something wrong with me I'm just different and everyone is different imagine the world being full of outgoing loud people like we need that balance okay the world needs introverts too and I just feel like I really stepped out of my comfort zone this that weekend and I was around so many girls and I had the best time and I just was like why are you making it a competition between all of us because like we all do the same thing and it's easy to f compare yourself to them but I didn't feel the need to do that because I just feel like we're all special and we all do our own thing and maybe we do kind of do this same thing like very similar things but we all do it in our own way and for someone to shame the way that I do things just because I'm a more quiet anti-social person which what makes me laugh is she called me anti-social because I didn't want to vlog in front of people that just means that I put my camera away and I was with the people not vlogging my interactions I'm confused by that because like why would you want to watch me interact with these people and have my camera in their face like I think me not vlogging and actually spending time with the girls is the opposite of antisocial but anyways I just feel like that really can put so many people down and make them feel like they're not worthy of sharing something because maybe they're not as entertaining as outgoing people and I just think that everyone has like a story to share and that just because you're more quiet and shy and that's just the way that you freaking are that's not something to be ashamed of and I used to really be super self-conscious about it and hate going out and doing things because I knew I was going to be one of the quietest people in the room and that people always growing up thought I was standoffish or a bitch or rude because I didn't talk a lot and I just I just sit and I observe and I I talk when I feel like I need to talk but I don't need to be the life of the party and I don't think there's anything wrong with that that doesn't mean you're less than or unworthy of sharing your story or getting on YouTube and uploading videos like I don't ever want that to stop you if you are the same way that I am like I never thought I would be making videos and finally feel comfortable in videos and talking to the camera and it just kind of feels so normal to me now but starting out it was really freaking uncomfortable and I wanted to do it because I wanted to share things I'm so happy that I did and that I did push myself out of my comfort zone but I'm just saying if I can do it anyone can do it and if you have the desire to maybe post more on Instagram or talk on your stories that took me over a fucking year to do because I was too scared um, and sometimes I still get a knot in my stomach when I know I have to do like an Instagram story which is so stupid but I finally feel good with YouTube and it just for her to say that I'm like there's nothing wrong with you because you're a quieter person or maybe you don't feel comfortable having your camera in people's faces like that I don't know that just made me sad for the people that may hear that or might deal with that that aren't okay with it because it took me a really long time to be okay with the fact that like this is how I am and I'm okay with it this is going on a little longer than I expected but I did just want to say don't ever feel less than because you're quieter I know a lot of people don't understand it which is fine but you don't have to make fun of people because they are shy that's just the way they are and there's nothing wrong with that and I've stepped out of my comfort zone a lot and I've grown a lot as a person and came out of my shell a lot it just sucks that I've grown so much as a person and then people it's still never enough which 
that's why you can't put too much value into other people's words, especially strangers who don't have anything constructive to say. She just said she's done watching me because the other girls did better than me. It just makes me sad for other people that feel that way and actually take those words to heart because it's not freaking true. So, I love you guys. If you're shy, bitch, join the club because... I'm the president but I appreciate the support and the people that understand me are the ones that I want to watch me not the people who are going to judge me and be nasty towards me so anyways you are worthy you are enough if you're quiet bitch that's fine that is perfectly fine and that's it so I'm gonna go head to the post office and I will see you guys back at home for lunch okay so I've been procrastinating making lunch and now it's literally 4 15 and I'm supposed to be going to pick up Anthony from work soon. I'm gonna go with Juice early and let him run around a little bit. So I forgot to make lunch. I can't believe I'm to the point where I forget to eat now. I'm gonna make a whole bag of this and do a protein shake. You guys are actually sitting on my protein right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the level one peppermint bark. I really like that flavor. Um, but I'm gonna just do that super, super quick and then I'm supposed to be out of here in like 10 minutes. So maybe I'll take my camera to the balance office and film a little bit of Juice running around and playing, so. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next clip. Where's that baby? <laughs> Hi, bud. Come here, boy. Juice! We also are watching a show. We've been watching a lot of shows, I feel like. So we just finished The Outsider, which was good. I, like, I liked that show. Oh, wait, I feel like, oh, I forgot. It's coming on weekly. Yeah. So anyways, we've caught up. So what was that, eight episodes? We're going to continue watching it as it comes out. But we also started The Circle over the weekend <laughs> with Abby and Mike. And it's so bad, but it's so good. Um, it's like about like a social media reality show almost. It's kind of yeah, weird. It's kind of like but it's like it's super cringy and super horrible, but it's like addicting and now I'm like I need to see who wins. So anyways, we're watching that. I'm almost done with Shameless. I've been watching that every night in bed. We like have shows we watch down here and then I always put Shameless on when I'm going to bed. And then also I want to watch uh, Love is Blind. I'm going to start that too. That's another like reality show. And Taylor said it's better than The Bachelor, which is crazy because she loves The Bachelor. Yeah, we just have that on right now. It's kind of going to be the night. Don't really have too much going on. That's it. Sorry, dinner is... I literally went grocery shopping t today. and was like, just so it's not like boring food, I'm going to get some... Of course it's boring still, so... 
that's it. I'll show you guys the, I guess, finished product and let you know how the fries are. And that's kind of it. So here's dinner. The fries are actually pretty good. I feel like they're kind of like normal fries. Yeah, they're good. I don't think the macros are phenomenal. But they're good. Finishing out the night, really healthy. With these and a white Reese's peanut butter egg. So that's gonna be it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.